Hello, 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 John Mason. How is everybody? Hope you're all well. And to those, my Christian friends, I say, Happy Easter. <clears throat> uh, and now, a couple of complaints. Ronald McDaniel, who Trump, in his, his usual way of rewarding his loyalists, had Ronald McDaniel, Ronald Romsey McDaniel, fired as chair of the RNC. And he replaced him with, uh, with two of his loyalists, two of his lackeys, including his daughter-in-law, Laura, married to Eric. God knows why, but... <coughs> and they set about... And they set about... Uh, uh, getting rid of the old, uh, older members of the RNC bureaucracy and replace them with Trump's lackeys and loyalists. And Laura said that the only purpose anymore of the Republican Party is to reelect Trump, and to hell with other other pe other people lower down the ballot. You know, your uh, senators, your. <clears throat> Your representatives, your state legislators, your governors, your county commissioners, etc. But, but but McDaniel has been a very loyal loyalist to his to her master. She was one of the people in on the the plot to overturn the election results of 2020. She she was in on the plot to. Uh, to, to install a false slate of electors in Wisconsin. So this false slate of electors would be treated as the real slate of electors from the state in all the key, key battleground states like uh, my state, Pennsylvania. And, and they would be installed as the these fake electors would be installed as the real electors for an electoral college. Not that it means, not that it uh, means anything. It's just ceremonial anymore. I mean, the election, the election results were in, and so is the electoral college vote. And. And you know how it turned out. The stampede, riot, rampage on January 6th in a weird effort to stop the to stop the uh, Electoral College vote was mostly ceremonial. And Ronald McDaniel was, was an accolade of uh, of Donald Trump trying to run off the old uh, the, uh, the old talk about uh, the 2020 election was stolen, rigged election, blah blah blah. And now, <clears throat> God knows why, but she has been selected by NBC and MSNBC to be one of their uh, panel members, or one of their one of their guests. Uh, to discuss about issues and all. And what brought it in the, into their heads to, to install McDaniel as a, a, as a panelist to treat her like a serious commentator and not the Trump propaganda she was, not the Trump lackey, not the person who denies hi actual history not the, not the person who, who, who took, who was an agent of the fake elector fraud. Fortunately, the real journalists in on MSNBC, Mika Brzezinski, Joe Scarborough, Rachel Maddow, were vocally protesting, vehemently protesting. The inclusion of a uh, McDaniel uh, on MSNBC, and as, as after that uproar, Mc, 
McDaniel will not be appearing on MSNBC, but no word yet on whether she'll be uh, excluded from NBC News itself. <clears throat> Hopefully, I mean, that's the whole thing. Conservatives for the longest time, like since, shall we say, Nixon, as I, I remember that far, they, they always complain about the left liberal slanted news media. And since then, the news media has been bending over backwards to show that they're not slanted to the left or liberal, what have you. In fact, it, from my understanding, they always uh, air to the air to a little bit to the right, or maybe a lot bit to the right. I, I, I can see it when they cover all up and down the, uh, the meetings of the Conservative Political Action Con Congr Conference. But one of the groups I'm with, Democratic Socialists of America, they do not cover DSA conventions or meetings or what have you. There's your left liberal bias. And we always have this me too, what about ism, like trying to be even handed, like, like when someone very sensibly very points out that the election of 2020 was fair, the elections was not, were not rigged, the election machines were not rigged. It's one of the fairest elections in the world at that time. And you got some Yahoo like uh, McDaniel or someone else going around saying the election was rigged and and their evidence is uh, some guy told him something <clears throat> at a bar or whatever. That that is not journalism. That's trying to appease uh, one one fanatical militant. Uh, hostile to democracy faction at the at the expense of our democracy. Trying to appease them is is no works no better than uh, Neville Chamberlain in Munich trying to appease Hitler and uh, letting letting him have the Sudetenland in 1938. Not quite accurate, but you got my drift. The journalistic profession has to have a little reassessment about uh, such practices. Try not to be bullied too much by at all by these raving maniacs who will kill you for telling things the story as it is. And also, I as well as everybody else that has a brain am was upset that that the judge uh, taking care of the case of of Donald Trump and the and the tax fraud trial with his properties in New York State that Letitia James has been uh, has been uh, prosecuting. Originally, Trump had to post a. $454 million bond and or $464 million. So, so he so he could appeal uh, the, the, uh, the ruling ruling against him and and now the, the judge has ordered that the that the bond limit is what would be knocked down from 464 million to 175 million. About around half half the amount the, the amount original amount and it and the judge also gave him uh, 10 10 year 10 days to um, uh, to submit the payment. <clears throat> Another proof that uh, the tax system and the judicial system and the legal system 
are all pointed in favor of the wealthy and the powerful. And, and of course, Trump kept saying that he doesn't have the money to post the original 464 mil. And all this time, Donald Trump was, sit, was campaigning on the fact was, I'm really rich. Sometimes he'd say he had $8 billion. Sometimes it'd be, uh, he'd say $5 billion. Certainly, he could have, if he had the money, he could afford to cough up the four hundred sixty-four million, if he wants to save his properties. It's a fraud. Trump is a fraud. The Trump movement is a fraud. MAGA is a fraud. And we, yeah. unfortunately, Letitia James is still on the case, saying that the. That the judgment is still on Trump. And he's still on the hook for for the tax for the tax fraud charge. And the danger is still there that the state of New York will seize his properties, his golf courses, his country clubs, his precious uh, Trump Tower and other properties in New York State and City. So it's not over yet. But we can't entirely leave it to nice people in the, the judicial system or the political system or the legal system uh, to fight for us. That's where we, the American voting public, come in. We have to understand we, that a second Trump administration would be the killer blow to democracy in this country. Let's not kid ourselves. And he doesn't become just become a dictator on day one, which means he'll implement his dictatorship right off the bat. Call upon the Insurrection Act, uh, call on his goons to uh, terrorize his opponents. That's what's going to happen. So, and he's always constantly. Uh, singing his praises for foreign tyrants, Vladimir Putin, Kim Jong-un, Xi Jinping, Viktor Orban, all those tyrants who, by a direct hit or slow poison, destroy what modicum of democracy they got in their countries. So we, it's our job, it's not too late, it's our job to get out there and, and educate ourselves on, on the issues, the real issues, and get out there and vote. That's what's going to save us. Nobody's going to save us but us, the American voting people. On April 23rd is primary election day in Pennsylvania. All my Pennsylvania peeps, on April 23rd, get out there and vote. And and in and all the nationwide, all nation, all throughout the nation, the general election will be November fifth. So get out there and vote. Stampede the polling station and vote. In order, of course, but get out there and vote. Vote like our our democracy and our nation, our liberties depend on it because it does. Okay, that's it for now, for now, and now advertisements. All this work I do in media, this video, my, my blog, my podcast, my fiction writing, my journalism, my poetry is work, definitely work. And I believe I'm worthy of my hire. I believe I'm worthy to be paid for my work. And so, please click the, the web address on your screen, johnomason.com, and click either the Buy Me a Coffee button or the PayPal button, and give whatever you can. See, I'm not like Trump with, 
allegedly billions of dollars. Um, and he asked to, yeah, and his uh, disciples decided to set up a GoFundMe for him, the billionaire, allegedly. I could definitely do with the money. Eight, for, for a salary for my work and to move my work forward, raise it to a higher level. JohnOMason.com. Thank you. And now my novel, Soldier of the Cross, is available on Amazon.com. It's the story of David Lucas, who as a young man in the early 60s is a drunk and a whore chaser and a schoolboy. He gets in trouble in the army. He comes out of it a born-again Christian, a fanatical manly man for Jesus. Just wants to serve Jesus, but the way he goes about it lands him into disaster. So please, purchase a copy of my novel, Soldier of the Cross on Amazon.com. And also, Hipporific is a lovely little CBD product store located on Snyder Avenue near 15th Street in South Philadelphia. There you will find some of the finest cannabis-infused products. Flour and gummies and candies and lip balm and hand sanitizer and dog treats. Dog treats, yeah. Please look them up. HemperificLLC.com And also my beloved career and business coach, Michelle Snow. Her website is now scrolling below. Michelle is excellent in helping you develop your small business or your professional career. Let you know what you're doing right, where you need work, and help you network with other small entrepreneurs and professionals. Do please look her up. Growwithsnow.com. Okay. All righty then. That's the fight we have on our hands. Our ancestors during World War II had to cross an ocean and then the English Channel and the Mediterranean to destroy fascism in Europe. They paid for the paid the cost of fighting fascism with their lives. All we have to do is trot out to the voting booth and vote. Vote against play a safe, vote against every Republican. Vote straight Democrat. I know the Democrats aren't perfect, I should know, but the Republican Party is nothing more than the party of Trump. It's the church of Trump, the cult of Trump. It's nothing but Trump. And the only way to save, to save this country is to vote against Trump. And vote for Joe Biden. I endorse, I endorse Joe Biden for President of the United States. And get out there and vote. Okay? That's it. Thank you, cats and kittens. Enjoy your day. Bye.